Basically, you have to have you have to integrate everything together. So from the from the initial idea, like going going to Italy, learn to make the pizza, to opening a restaurant, also opening a pizza shop. It's a long, 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 long way to go. First seven days, I was just only down in the basement making the dough. Like seven days, I was just making the dough. My my head, my hands were in the flour all the time. Like. I don't know, 15, 16 hours per day, I <laughs> were like just mixing it, mixing it, mixing it, and trying to, 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 to get the best quality. You know, sometimes when you have some food at a restaurant that is just so good, you know that they must have put so much time and effort and passion into making this food taste as good as it does. Well, this is the story of Pizza Graham and Pavle, how he went all over trying to find the best ingredients, going to Italy to go to a school where he learned how to be a pizza master. So, I think you'll see every little bit of passion in the way that he describes his journey. And the big surprise is it only took one year for him to change his life like this. So yeah, enjoy. Here's Pavle from Pizzagram. Belgrade Beat, the pulse of the city. Okay folks, welcome to Belgrade Beat. Um, Basically, after my video last week, I sent it to the guys from Pizzagram because it was about Pizzagram, and I thought yes. probably somebody would be interested in some random stranets yeah, yeah, in Belgrade was. coming and reviewing your restaurant on and the we were. in <laughs> a in a gorilla way to just sort of like oh 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 my god I never imagined pizza like this in Belgrade but what happened what happened I mean okay so I contacted you you wrote back and you basically you basically sent me a link. Yeah. With, the, with the video. I watched yeah. it, I watched the video and I contacted you <laughs> and I explained you the yeah. situation. What happened in between is that we completely shut down the pizza you were talking about. Oh and, my and, God. And that was I the, heard about this. And that was, that was the idea that what I, what I contacted you to, to, to tell you the sad truth. I mean, you basically just made a video. No, but wait a second, wait a second. This pizza was like, uh, this pizza was like uh, the best pizza I've ever had and in my be, life and it will be again but it's it's uh, I'm just uh, okay so no, no let's start we'll get to that we'll get to that what's the story of uh, pizza gram and your how you got all these certificates on the wall from Italy and all this stuff what's how, how did this happen how did you leave Belgrade and I mean this is the story that people want to know yeah well like you went to well I went I went to Italy but basically, I wanted to open a pizza shop, yeah. but uh, I didn't know anything about pizza. I didn't know how to make uh, how to make a dough. Yeah. So basically, if uh, I just thought that if I want to do the business thing, like open a pizza shop, then I have to know something at least about pizza. Well, so, obviously. You do. <laughs> so I found I found uh, I found on the internet the the Italian Culinary Institute in uh, in uh, Costiglione di Asti is the, is the name of the place that's uh, near Torino yeah. uh, northern Italy so I contacted people and I saw like it's it's a really really serious uh, serious school they have a serious pizza program but not only pizza all all uh, Italian culinary stuff so I contacted them I talked to them and uh, just arranged the I arranged the courses there I went last uh, last summer and uh, finished that, that uh, pizza school and then I went uh, to working on a, on a, on a restaurant, restaurant one, one single restaurant uh, where I just made pizzas. So and this I, can all happen in one year? Yeah. It can all from, happen? From zero, from zero to this, it's one year. One what? year job. <laughs> yeah. I didn't expect this. No, no. I thought like you were like, well, I spent five years in Italy, well, and, and, and listen, they didn't touch me. Yeah, no, no, they, it's, it's, they didn't let me touch the dough for no, the first two no, years, no, 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 and then it's it's a bullshit. <laughs> Sorry, uh, uh, that, those stories are the non-existent. If you if you want if you want to do the business, if you want to if you want to change what you're doing, then one year is is enough. You can see it, because I didn't know I didn't know any single like I told you didn't know any single any single thing about the dough. Now, but. In the meantime, I fell in love with the with the with the kitchen. I fell in love with the dough. I fell in love with the with the procedure of the pizza. And I I'm, and I was a good student. I I just really really wanted to learn everything yes. from the beginning. And I just followed the procedure. I just, when I when I when I started doing something, I just realized that if you want to make a perfect dough, if you want to make a perfect pizza, and that was my idea from the beginning, then you have to follow the procedures. And uh, we had like huge 
books written by the best uh, pizzaiolos in Italy, like this, this big, when they explain you everything from the from the wheat, from the from the flour, from everything, everything from the how 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 why the uh, water is important, why the how many proteins is inside one, okay, so, so everything. So. so what you're telling me is like in one year you can go to Italy and learn from the best in the world yes. on how to make a pizza and in one year you can come back to whichever country you're from and 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 Definitely. make a pizza which is world class and so, like and so Definitely, so yeah. so then why 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 every every place you go in belgrade you know like there's a pecora there's a you know bakery that's making like stuff that's just crap I guess nobody nobody did it before. I yeah. don't know. <laughs> it's a thing simple answer. I mean, uh, listen. Uh, according to my experience, uh, we were there in uh, Italy. It's people from all all around the world. Not only for the pizza pizza co- courses, but also for the gelato, for uh, coffee, for yeah. all kind. So basically, from all those people, not uh, not all open their shops there. It's it's just me, it's just me and one uh, Vietnamese girl. So. Yeah, you have to do, you you have to want it. You, so, you, you, so you need like this creative sort of yeah, thing, and yeah. then and then this passion for the food, and yeah, then the basic, business ideas. Yeah, basically you have to have you have to integrate everything together. So uh, from the from the initial idea, like going going to Italy, learn to make the pizza, to opening a restaurant, also opening a pizza shop. It's a long, 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 long way to go. I mean, there's a million obstacles in between that can force you to to quit. Especially but, in Serbia, of especially course. Especially in Serbia, yeah. But but if you really want to, if you really 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 want to do it, then nothing can stop you. I mean, if you, if you know the deal, if you know the business, if you know the if you if you know how to prepare your own pizza, if you know every single ingredient from the beginning till the, till the end, then you can do it anywhere in the world. And it's a simple thing. I mean, it's not nuclear physics. It's like preparing a pizza. So basically, you just have to have to. You have okay, to but the ingredients here. Like you're close to the Italy, the source. Do you think it would be harder to find the proper ingredients in, you know, some place like China or something like that? You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Because because I have I have a for example from the, from those courses I have a friends from Malaysia from from Vietnam and they are having real troubles because we are we are in touch and they are having real troubles uh, finding the real ingredients there. Obviously, here it's it's. It's not a, not not a big deal. I mean, you you have a majority of the products, Italian products here, so yeah. you don't have to. Uh, or the local prob- products. You yeah, know. you can you can you can use the local products. But uh, the thing that I did is before the, before the before I opened the shop, I went for example maybe two or three months. I was just uh, traveling around Serbia and discovering the producers, for example, of uh, yeah. of prosciutto, of if, and I wanted to check were uh, were they good enough. Yeah. Were exactly. W- good enough to be put on my pizza, and then I went again to Italy because, for example, I'm using here San Daniele prosciutto. That's the best prosciutto in Italy. So I went to Udine. That, that, I mean, it's a, it's a village close to Udine called uh, San Daniele del Friuli, and they produce. I went to the producers. I went. I, I watched the procedure of the of the of the meat coming to the. Yeah, I, I watched everything. Because and he, I saw like here, like uh, the best stuff you can find is really good quality but you can get lots of crap that will yeah, just you know yeah, yeah, you, yeah. You, 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 you can get a lot of crap and you, you, there, there are some things that you, we don't produce for example uh, I couldn't find the uh, mozzarella buffalo buffalo mozzarella yeah. there are no producers here you have to import them there, there are no for example burrata is a cheese from the southern Italy you cannot find it here you have to import it uh, Parmigiano, of course. There are some 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 kind of uh, cheeses or or uh, prosciutto that are registered. Uh, PDO, yeah, yeah PDO, you, you cannot find. You, you obviously have to have to use it if you wanna if you wanna follow the procedure. You can you can uh, you can change it with the local uh, local stuff, but you have to be careful not to to see if that's uh, the of the highest quality. If that if that changes the taste of your product, if that changes the taste of the pizza, then you, you did nothing well. So lots of testing, lots of no, this is not good enough, lots, lots of, of, of listen, we are we are doing it uh, here. The pizza shop is basically open to Just hold this for one second, okay. I gotta check the camera. One second. Yeah we good. So the pizza shop the pizza shop is open uh, you wanna hold it or yeah. uh, was open two and a half months ago yeah. just two and a half months so basically first month uh, I, I just we, we were experimenting 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 I threw away so much food yeah of course just just to, just, just to uh, reach the highest quality first seven days I was just only down in the basement making the dough 
like seven days I was just making the dough my my head my hands were in the flowers all the time like I don't know 15 16 hours per day I <laughs> were like just mixing it mixing it mixing it and trying to, 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 to get the best quality for example uh, there is there is a small also uh, difference between the taste uh, in Serbia and the taste in it what is good in Serbia doesn't ha- necessarily have to be the good in uh, in either as well yeah. especially uh, if you, if you speak uh, if you speak about uh, about the dough yeah uh, the Italians not only, not only Italians but we are making here the, the here the pizza Romana Roman style pizza it's a little bit it's bigger and it's a, a diff- different sort of a sort of the dough and uh, I just w- wanted to, to make it in a, in a fashion that it will be good for Serbs to eat it so I just a li- uh, modified it a bit in that first month like just to, to discover the, 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 the best taste and when I saw the response of the people like th- that they are really 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 satisfied and I said like okay that's it that's it that's a good product we have and uh, we have to continue with that so uh, but it was a lot of testing, a lot of testing. But before I opened the shop, like I had, a, I had, a, I had a one one vision in my head. Like w- before opening, I wanted to make pizza, and I wanted to see reaction that I saw in your video. Like, yeah, wow, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and when, 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 <laughs> I know because I, I'm I'm the sort of person like in Belgrade, everything that I wanna I wanna see anything I any anytime I see something done great, I'm like, wow, you know, like. That, 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 that's you know that's like Pekara uh, Terpskovic. Yeah, yeah, they are best wild. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah they are wild. Yeah, yeah. and you can have, find a yeah. thousand Pekaras that are just like. But Terpskovic, what is a, this crap that we're eating like here? Terpkovic, you know, Terpskovic has a wow effect, and I wanted to do. I wanted to have wow effect. I wanted to have. Listen, I want before before even going to Italy because I'm I, I really like to eat a lot. Yeah, and I went. I, I know all the places. Hey, in you're Belgrade. not that fat. For yeah, yeah, I lost. I, basically, my pizza diet uh, made me lost some. <laughs> <So> <laughs> pizza diet, okay. <laughs> Big level of shit. But uh, I know, I know the places in Belgrade, and uh, I wanted, I wanted to do it. I wanted like, just. I remember. I know all the places where I went when I tried the food, and I said, "Yeah, this is the, this is the good, good stuff." And I wanted to have that. I really, really, really wanted to have that. I really wanted to say like, "This is this is something we we, we waited for so long." Yeah. And now I'm receiving that that, that reactions. And and well, so oh, then oh, oh. so then a couple of days after after me coming here and making this video, you stopped selling the pizza I was talking about. Like what the fuck, man? Yeah, you know what happened? Uh, basically, this in Italy, this kind of pizza al taglio in the in the trays, when 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 you sell when you sell that kind of pizza, you don't sell the round one. Okay. And and I thought and I thought that I was more uh, more clever than the Italians and I wanted to sell both at the same time but then after ma- after one month or okay. more I realized that these two cannot coexist together because this Altaglio the, 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 the pizza in tray is like it's a, it's a new product in, on, in, on in Serbia market and people like it and it's a dominant it, I'm selling them more and more and more of it yeah, okay. and uh, my oven is occupied yeah I have, I have a huge oven I have two decks uh, and I can bake a lot of pizzas but then if I want to if I want to continue to make uh, two two th- those over oh, both both uh, both types of pizzas then uh, I believe that I would sacrifice a little bit of quality in a, in the long run okay then I, I wanted to I wanted to skip that, but listen, I'm, I have a plans. I'm not give up. I, I didn't give up on, uh, on those round pizza you like. I have come on, <laughs> that's the best because y- <laughs> you know you know like for me to have a pizza that's reheated. Well, honestly, like if I can say it really in a vulgar way, it's like having sex with a condom yeah, with a girl uh, that you really yeah, like. Thing because is that I really like your pizza. The, the thing is that it's not reheated. It's not reheated because. I'm bake. It's a baked in that way. I bake the pizza. I bake. I bake the dough three times. For example, when I prepare the dough, the dough has to stay wild uh, for fermentation and matura- uh, maturation. It's uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Okay, but listen L- to me. The fresh pizza I got from here was the best in my life. You're not selling it anymore. This is a problem. If I was from Sicily, I would be asking you, do you have any children? Do you have a... <laughs> where do your parents live? And you know, like... We have to do something about <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Can we make a deal? What are we going to do Can now about this? Can you show me the pictures yeah, of your yeah. kids? <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> so, so, so I, I need know, this pizza. I, I, know, I, know I need this pizza in my life. <laughs> I know. No, I, I will. Uh, I have a listen. Delivery, I, maybe? Uh, no, no delivery. No. Delivery? Why not? No, 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 no. Because Dude, I what do you say? Here, here's my next question. 
what do you say to the big pizza, Caribbean pizza? What, where do you view yourself as competition for these companies? I don't believe we are competition at all because I, I believe I'm selling completely different pro type of product. It's true. Listen, on, on a market that is a place for everyone. Uh, for example, we have here in the same street. You have plenty of pizza space. Uh, Butchko, pizza, yeah, Butchko. They, they're selling pizzas ones, for yeah for yeah. years and years and years, and they have uh, their customers. And I believe Belgrade is a huge city. Yeah. Everyone uh, has to have some place where they can find pizza they like. The, uh, and the, the, of, of course, it's a different type of pizza. It's a different type of uh, source of pizza, and, it, and the prices are different. As yeah, well. but you notice, like a guy like me on a Sunday afternoon, like I'm, I'm looking for a slice of pizza. I've got so many options. Why choose yours? Well, it depends. Uh, it, it depends on you if you want to eat quality stuff or no. I mean, I'm using here every single ingredient is the, of the highest quality, and I, I personally took care of every single ingredient. I went, I tried, I tested. I know what to put on pizza. I mean, I can put. Listen, uh, basically, pizza. If you if you speak on pizza, you are you are speaking about the about the hot bread with uh, tomato, cheese, and you know, uh, it's always good if you have, if you eat it hot. But the quality of the ingredients, you cannot compare it. I know what the, I, I know what I'm putting on it. And if 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 you tr when you try it, then you see the difference. Yeah. And if you try the other pizza after my pizza, yeah. Th especially then you will notice the difference. Yeah. Obviously. So uh, I'm just uh, what what I what I think is I just need the people to come here and try. And if you t if they try it, then they are my customers. I, I look at it that way, and I, I, I just don't pay attention to competition because we are doing like completely different things. I'm here from the beginning, and I'm following every every single step of the of the of the pizza shop. And and okay, so what advice would you give to somebody in Serbia who has a passion for food? How do they start? Sorry, what? how do you start a restaurant like this? I mean, how hard well, is it in Belgrade listen, to make uh, money with listen, this? Is it, do you need it's, investment? Listen, no, do you need uh, well? If you want to do it, then you will do it. You, 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 will, you will definitely find a way. The thing is that uh, you have to know your product. Uh, rule number one. Uh, my, my rule number one. The people are opening here restaurants, shops, uh, whatever, without any knowledge of the product they are selling. Like, uh, of, like if, if I, if I want to, for example, if I want to start a Japanese uh, kitchen now, I can go find a chef that can tell me like okay i'm i'm a master in japanese kitchen yeah, and, and, and yeah, yeah and, and i will problem. pay him but i still don't have a clue about what he's selling and what am i selling this you have to know you have to know everything and you have to you have so to go to the best learn from the best and you have come to back. learn Wait, listen you don't have to go uh, learn from the best you, at least you you, ha you have to have some experience from belgrade you have to know something about it and you have to decide what kind of product you want to sell because i'm not saying i'm not saying that the uh, big pizza caribic or whatever they're bad. I mean, they're selling. They're they're selling the product better than pizza pizza in Canada. I yeah, can tell I you know. better than any slice of pizza I had in they're, London. They're, they're okay. But yours they're, is like next yeah. level shit, man. Be be You've done uh, it. Yeah, because yeah, that's that's because I'm using Italian flour caputo. That's the best in the world, and I'm paying it triple. The, the 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 flour they are paying. I am using the mozzarella cheese. I am using the muti pomodoro tomato from Italy, from Parma region. I am using all my ingredient has a, a, a history. You know, I have a history, and uh, the pizza itself has a, has a craftsmanship behind, like craft like real craftsmanship. Like I'm doing preparing in 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 a proper way, and that's why the pizza is good. That's my my pizza is good. But there uh, those those uh, bigger chains they're more of uh, industrial in, yeah a factory industrial pizza the, you, you cannot what's the best price on the shunka what's the best price on yeah, the, yeah yeah you have yeah, to, they're yeah, watching like every single every single cost like cutting costs costs and i, I don't believe the best person we can get to work for 300 euros yeah, like stuff yeah, like yeah, that yeah, 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 yeah. Stuff. And for example here i'm trying to i'm trying to i'm trying to create a community inside my my pizzeria of people that are working for me and uh, for Pizzagram, I want I want them to to feel good about. It. I want them to feel good about the job they have. I want them to earn a lot from here. I, I want I want this 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 Pizzagram uh, shop to prosper, and all the people that work for me prosper as well. So we can like continue do the real thing. I believe that's the only way you can do it. And okay. I, 
But I don't feel good right now because I know that I can't order these round pieces. <laughs> so please open your second location, your second oven. Maybe delivery would be good. Next level shit for no, me. Listen, I have I have a plan. I have a plan to open the real the the, the pizzeria that will sell just the round ones. So b- I, I want to divide those two. Is it be more of a restaurant sit down or? Uh, I'm still I'm still thinking about it. I, I don't believe like I should open the real real like real restaurant. More of the mixture when you can just step order step by step. Yeah, step yeah. When you so can you've order. got a niche here. This is original, and you yeah. need to master that, and yeah. then go yeah. into the next yeah. thing. Yeah, 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 definitely. De- 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 I want. I, def- I, I definitely want to offer uh, both pizzas, and more of that. I want to offer the third one as well because this one, the pizza, the round one you had. It's Hold on a second. Just wait one second. I got to reset the camera. I, I know you have a little more to say. We got 57. It's 20 minutes at a time on this camera, so we're just going to restart. And bam, here we go. So what's the third, the third the, level of the, pizza? Uh, this one, the round one you had. It's a, it's a, basically the pizzas uh, are divided. The majority of pizza divided. The, you have like classic pizza, the one you had, and the Napolitan pizza. Yeah. The one that are still missing, <laughs> and I want I want to do that as well. Napolitan pizza is a different procedure, different uh, different dough. Uh, you have to uh, bake it in a wood oven, and uh, it's on the highest. The more on the highest temperature and it's a really 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 good one if you if you do it the right way it's a good one so I want to make all three you know I want to have I want, I want to offer all kind of pizza that are best very that? Ambitious. Yeah, yeah yeah I am ambitious before 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 uh, before I opened the shop one of my 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 friend asked me we had like also some kind of interview she she's a journalist and she asked me like what are your plans? Like, you, you, what, what do you think about the opening? What are your ideas about about the pizzeria I want to open? And I said, like, and it was spontaneously. And I said, like, uh, I want to make the best pizza, not in Belgrade, but but in the world, you know, <laughs> because uh, there is a. I love it now. Start really, local, man. Start local. Yeah, you have to start local. But I love it. I love I love the job. I love the I love the I love doing it. And I believe that in time, if if you follow, if you if you read, if you go and uh, improve yourself, then eventually you will become the the best of the best. So it's never good enough. You're no, always competing no. with yourself. Yeah, if yeah. you got the best pizza in Belgrade now, you no, want to go no, higher, yeah, best yeah. in the world, yeah, best. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I yeah. support that, that, yeah. I, I, want, I want Anthony Bo- uh, uh, Bourdain come here and uh, make, make, makes like, wow, what, what's happening? Here? Yeah. <laughs> no, but it, this is a good chance because the ingredients in Serbia, you know, you don't have these problems like you have in the European Union where they all have to be in the agricultural policy of the European no, Union. You have local, you go to Bailoni Piazza, yeah, you yeah. get the local ingredients, yeah, local peppers, yeah. right? Yeah, You're doing yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. We have, we have, uh, we have that. One For or two hands from the farmer. Yeah. Uh, when uh, w- uh, when we opened the shop, my uh, friend of mine and uh, his instructor, pizza pizza yolo instru- instructor in Italy, and he was my instructor. He came here and he was uh, for seven days, just uh, going with me through opening. And we went uh, when we went to Bailoni, and we went, when he saw when he saw his Italian, his pizza, yeah. pizza great pizza yolo. And when he saw uh, that we have like those fresh markets just around the corner, and, and I the go prices. there, yeah, the prices <laughs> that I could go there and pick whatever I want I can pick tomato I can pick the pepper I can pick whatever I want the, the good stuff the quality it's stuff it's like 100 it, years ago in Italy. yeah it's, yeah. A, yeah, it's yeah. at least like honey, and, and you can put it on a pizza and you have to have you have to get the, 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 the best product yeah <laughs> there is no there and is no way to take it and put your passion into it yeah but you have to just you have to be honest honest uh, honest to yourself and to your customers you have to uh, respect them. You have to respect yourself. You have to just follow that and and uh, put the best the best you find on the market. Just put it on pizza. You don't you, you don't cut it. You don't uh, replace it. Like just use the best ingredients because it's it it, it sense you, you you will sense it. Yeah. When, in the, when when you eat it, you will see the difference. I'm the same when I go and approach food. You know, like this. Yeah, there's one guy at Bailoni who has the best ghost cheese. Tastes like nothing else. And you know, like just. Wow. Yeah, it's wow. Wow. Like, <laughs> wow. And you know that this is, you know, but you make a small shop like this, and you know you can get the best because you go to the market. And, but if you need to get bigger, do you want to get bigger? Because then you're going to have to buy more ingredients, more bulk, more, you Listen, know? Listen, I believe, I believe that uh, you can go, I, I can go bigger, but there are limits. 
you can, you cannot go way bigger. But then there there you, I mean I can go a little bit bigger. I maybe I can open more shops, and I can still follow the same proce- procedure. But yeah. then if I go if you go like real big, then you basically have to lose it somewhere. I, th- so slowly but surely, start with the passion in the basement, make the best dough, put the best ingredients on it, yeah. make the customers happy, yeah. and Just, then no, go further. M- make, make the customer happy, that's the point. Like, yes. Make the customers happy, make the customer feel satisfied that they came here, make the, cus- the customers like satisfied that this place exists in Belgrade. And if, if I achieve that, then I'm a winner. Uh, it's simple as that. <laughs> well, thank you for this. And You're welcome. <laughs> I appreciate the interview. I'm still... <laughs> Had some psychological issues with not the round pizza being sold here anymore, but I think I know you're going to open your second yeah, location yeah, first for this, I, I will and, and I will make a video about that because right now, unfortunately, I have some sad news for you folks. <laughs> this pizza that you saw me last week, not around anymore. So, yeah, you but have, you have to come to try this one. But but yeah, this one is not bad. It's just yeah, I'll, I'll let you. I'll. <laughs> but you can see that the man here has some passion for what he's doing. He's got a good story. And he's doing something that you can't find any anywhere else in Belgrade. So come check out Pizzagram, Francuska, which boy? Uh, 35. 35, Francuska, down the hill from the main square. Come on down, try a slice, and uh, let's let's see what happens in the future with this wonderful place. Yeah. Thanks a lot, man. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Belgrade Beat, the pulse of the city.